A simple look at a complex process, taking a drug to market. There are hundreds of thousands employed by the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries around the world, working to discover new treatments for a wide range of diseases. In the drug development process, researchers will examine 5,000 compounds during the discovery phase to come up with just five that may have therapeutic value in humans. When a new compound is found to be promising and has passed preclinical testing, it's time to move to the clinical trial stage. Clinical trials at any stage are conducted in various ways. In a controlled trial, some patients receive the drug while others receive a placebo or standards of care. Many trials are randomized, which means that patients are randomly assigned to receive either the drug or a control condition, such as standard of care or placebo. During this process, neither the patient nor the treating physician nor the sponsoring pharmaceutical company knows whether the patient is taking the drug or placebo. Clinical trials are often categorized as early phase or late phase and take place in four primary phases. Phase 1. The first step is sometimes called a first-in-human clinical trial. At this stage, the drug is tested with healthy volunteers to determine its basic properties and safety. Phase 2. In a phase 2 trial, the drug is given to volunteers within the target population, those who have the illness for which the treatment was developed. At this stage, researchers are trying to determine if the treatment impacts the disease process and what the ideal dose range might be, while also considering benefits and adverse effects. Although not required, at the end of phase two, the pharmaceutical or biotechnology company will meet with a regulatory body, which in the United States is the FDA. They discuss the phase two findings, any concerns about the data, and if the drug shows promise. The design and scale of protocols for phase three, the last phase prior to market authorization. Phase three. Phase three trials are larger studies where researchers are trying to determine the safety and effectiveness of the drug and see how it might be used once it is commercialized. Again, volunteers who are in the target population are monitored. Once a drug completes phase three, the company can submit a new drug application, or NDA, for review. At this stage, the FDA consults expert advisory committees to determine safety, effectiveness, and labeling. The labeling dictates how the new product should be used once approved, including the type of patient most likely to benefit, the dose range, and potential side effects. Phase 4. Once the NDA is approved, the drug may be marketed with FDA-regulated labeling and may also extend into Phase 4 clinical testing, as the safety of the drug continues to be monitored. If rare but clinically important adverse events are reported, changes in labeling may be requested. If adverse events appear to be systematic and serious, the FDA may withdraw a product from the market. The drug development process is truly complex. On average, it takes about 10 to 15 years for a drug to go from the lab to the patient, although the time needed can vary depending on the disease and type of intervention. In 2015, the FDA approved 45 new drugs. Of those, nearly 40% were first-in-class drugs, offering a new or unique approach to the treatment of a disease. As technology becomes more sophisticated and biological processes better understood, there is interest in developing agents for a wider range of illnesses, including rare diseases. Worldwide Clinical Trials is proud to support its drug development partners by providing an infrastructure for international clinical research for a range of pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies. Together with our professional colleagues, we are working toward the continued discovery of life-changing and life-saving treatments for patients around the world.